So here in this problem, we need to resolve the given rational fraction into its partial fraction. Let us begin. Now, here we observe here that the given rational fraction, the denominator portion is composed of three factors. One of the factor is x minus 1 multiplied to two factors so x squared plus two that's the factor but it's repeating twice now this immediately tells us that we can resolve the given rational fraction into three partial fractions because we have three factors now let's say these rational fractions uh, the this uh, particular rational fraction has the partial fraction given by a over x minus one this is going to be the first partial fraction then we have bx plus c divided by x squared plus 2. Now, since x squared plus 2, that's a quadratic factor, we'll have to denote its numerator of the second partial fraction as bx plus c in linear terms of x. Then we have dx plus e divided by x squared plus 2. Now, x squared plus 2 is repeating twice. So, our goal will be to obtain the value of a, b, c, d, and e. So, we're going to label this as equation number 1. So to begin with, what we'll do, we'll take equation number 1 and we're going to multiply both sides with x minus 1 times x squared plus 2 whole squared. Such that on the left hand side, we are left with only 1. Then on the right hand side, we have x squared plus 2 whole squared multiplied to a. Plus we have x minus 1 times x squared plus 2 multiplied to bx plus c. And then we have uh, x minus 1 multiplied to dx plus e. So this gives us a new equation. And what we can do in the next step, we are going to equate the coefficients of like powers of x in both sides. And this is going to give us the uh, few equations. So let's state the equation. We have a plus b equals to 0. This is going to be one of the equations. Let's label this as number 1. Then we get the next equation, which is going to be negative b plus c equals to 0. So this is going to be the second equation. Then we have the third equation, which is given by 4a plus 2b minus c plus d equals to 0. So this is equation number 3. And then we have the fourth equation given by negative 2b plus 2c minus d plus e equals to 0. Let this be equation number 4. So if we solve equation 1, 2, 3, and 4, that's going to give us the values of a. So a comes out to be equals to 1 over 9. The value of b that comes out to be equals to negative 1 over 9. c value comes out to be negative 1 over 9. And d value comes out to be negative 1 over 3. And E value comes out to be negative 1 over 3. So now that we have the values of A, B, C, D, and E, we're going to substitute this in equation number 1. Such that we have 1 over x minus 1 multiplied to x squared plus 2 whole squared. This will be equals to, we have A over x minus 1, so that's 1 over 9 times x minus 1. Then we have bx plus c. So b is negative 1 over 9 and c is also negative 1 over 9. So we have negative times x plus 1 divided by 9 multiplied to x squared plus 2. Coming to the third partial fraction, d value, that's negative 1 over 3, and e value is negative 1 over 3. So we have negative times x plus 1 all divided by 3 times x squared plus 2 whole squared. So this is how we have successfully uh, resolved the given rational fraction into three partial fractions.